I'm an evolutionary biologist and I'm interested in how the development of the Australian deserts affected the number of species that we have um, and how they evolved and why some areas of the country have more species diversity than others. A lot of people hear the words climate change and, and species extinction and, and these things are all, are all really important but what a lot of people don't realise is that the climate has changed a lot in Australia over the last 30 million years or so. Our country used to look a lot different to what it looks like now. It was a warm, wet environment with rainforests growing in the, in the centre of Australia, you know, where now it's desert. So I'm interested in how the change from this forested area of Australia into a desert, how did that change affect the species that were living there at the time? The Research School of Biology is something very special. People work together, there's a real close connection between the postdocs and the PhD students. There's a nice vibe about being here and it's such a nice place to work. It might be a small department, but we do have two Australian Laureate Fellows, which is you know, phenomenal to be you know, surrounded by people at that, of that level and calibre. It's just the most amazing thing for an early career researcher to have that opportunity, to have these, these people, these academics, right here, literally the corridor next door to me. Professor Scott Keogh was absolutely instrumental in, in where direction that my career has gone. Uh, when I met him, I was a geology student with no experience in biology at all. I knew nothing about genetics. I didn't even know really what genes were. And uh, he took me on as a student of his. He gave me a chance and, and it's just been amazing. It's been the most wonderful journey and I'm doing exactly what I've always wanted to do. It's very important that, that ANU and Australia support early career researchers. And there's, there's a number of reasons for that. One of them is that um, science is a tough business and we need to have extremely good, you know, talented young people coming through. NIPSI's has a lot of professional and um, personal qualities that have put her in a unique position. She's got a unique combination of skills from her background in geology and how she's applied that to uh, biological problems and, and based on that she's really, you know, done some quite important work that sets the scene for other people. From a personal point of view, she's an inspiration to other people in my lab. She's an excellent role model, and you know, there's a number of, of younger scientists, honor students, undergrads, postdocs as well, coming through the system that um, that look to her as a as a role model in science. Another reason why I just really like working with Scott is that he understands balancing a family and work. Because a lot of the people here do have families and they, they're able to juggle that and it works. When you're an early career female academic, like that's something that's obviously at the forefront of your mind is how am I going to have a family and continue to do research and how, that, how I could manage to be able to have kids and also have an academic career. I've established my career here and I hope that you know, I can, I can take what I've learnt, go places, but, I, but I, Canberra's my home, I always want to come back and ANU is just yeah, somewhere that's taught me so much and you know set my life off in a direction I never thought was possible.